Namaste children. I am Hari Prasad, your chemistry teacher. Children, today's topic is action of sodium metal with water. We all know that sodium is a metal which belongs to group 1 of the periodic table. Right children. Children, you might have heard that sodium is stored under kerosene. Why sodium is stored under kerosene? Reason is very simple. Sodium metal is going to react very vigorously with oxygen, carbon dioxide and the moisture present in the air. So that's why it is stored under kerosene and kerosene and sodium no reaction. That is it does not react with kerosene. Now today's topic is what will happen when sodium reacts with water. Right children, the reaction is something like this. When sodium reacts with water, you are going to get sodium hydroxide and a highly flammable gas. Which one is that? It is hydrogen. When you balance the equation, it is 2, 2 and 2. Something like this. Now, in today's experiment, we are going to see the liberation of sodium hydroxide and how hydrogen burns with a pop sound. Right children? Straight away, we will proceed with the practicals. Okay children, what we have done is that in this plate, you can see a sodium metal what I have taken. So sodium metal is soft, so soft that you can easily cut the sodium metal, right? So just observe very carefully. I am cutting this uh, sodium metal, see? You can easily cut this sodium metal, see? You can just easily cut, right? See, observe very carefully, right? You can cut into pieces. So it is so soft. Now children, what I am going to do is that I have taken a water in this one and along with this water, along with the water, I have taken one indicator which you have to identify, which indicator I have taken. Now, what I do is that the sodium metal, I am going to drop in this water containing indicator. Just observe carefully what is going to happen. Right, see, sodium metal is floating on water. The reason is very simple. It is lighter than what? Water, that is the density of sodium is less than the density of water. See, wherever this sodium metal goes, you can see the formation of pink color. <coughs> and the liberation of hydrogen gas. I hope you are able to see this one. See, it has formed a silvery globule and it is moving on the surface. Right? Observe very carefully children. Yes, see it's here, here. It's moving, it's moving. Now children, why the colorless water turned into the pink color? Children, it's very simple. Along with the water, as I told you, I added an indicator which is, which is nothing but phenolphthalein indicator. We all know that phenolphthalein is a colorless indicator which will give you two colors. In acid medium it is colorless and in basic medium that is in alkaline medium it is pink in color. So this sodium metal on reacting with water it has produced sodium hydroxide which is alkaline in nature that's why it has turned into pink color. Is it clear children? Okay children what I have done is that uh, I have taken a small piece of sodium and uh, this sodium piece I am going to add into a test tube containing water. Now the liberation of hydrogen starts. Now I am going to collect this hydrogen gas in a test tube like this. Right? So how do you confirm whether this gas is hydrogen? See Abzo? Yes. So this pop sound indicates that there is a liberation of hydrogen gas. Okay, children? Hope you have understood this one. Okay? Thank you, children. Namaste, everybody.